Protesters gathered outside Midlothian Council again this week against what they say are crippling cuts to services. It comes as the local authority prepares to set its budget, warning that tough decisions will have to be made. Indigo Stafford reports. <laughs> fighting for their future. At this protest outside Midlovian Council's headquarters, third sector services are pleading with the council to rethink proposed budget cuts. We estimate that we're looking at 40% cuts, which would mean that we have six family learning centres in Midlovian and that we'd have to close two or three of the centres to be able to accommodate that level of cuts. This day centre in Newton Grange provides vital care and companionship for elderly people in the area. But to get here, service users rely on community transport, something that would be slashed under the proposed cuts. Now, service user Mary fears for her future. I'd be dead. I would be dead. I'll be honest with you. This is my life. This is my life here. Yeah. It's very important. If it wasn't for this bus, I, I couldn't get here. For many who attend their weekly trip to St David's, it's the only social interaction they have. These people rely on us, we rely on the transport. We've got people that are, are in fixed wheelchairs and um, they can't get on normal transport, so they rely on us, you know, to bring them here. Midlovian Council plan to plug a budget gap of £14 million by cutting services across the board. Under the plans, staff would be removed from libraries, free music tuition would be reduced in schools, guides would be removed from controlled and zebra crossings, Pennycook Recycling Centre would close down, there would be no overtime for council staff and public toilets would close. In a statement, Council Leader Kelly Parry said none of us want the cuts. However, extremely difficult decisions will have to be made. And it's not just this local authority that faces tough decisions. Scotland's councils are now facing a £700 million funding gap. Midlovian Council will now consider the views of its residents before setting the official budget next week. Indigo Stafford, STV News, Dalkey.